Hi, it's Tim at Matchbox Customs and Restos. Today we're going to open up this little Vega here from Hot Wheels. And I am going to change the wheels and remove the striping. I think I'm going to remove the striping and do the details on this. This should be a pretty good looking little car when I'm done with it. So let me uh, get her open. Well, that wasn't too hard. <laughs> that came off pretty easy. <clears throat> the blue looks really good on this car. I mean, it's fantastic how the how it came out. Um, I want to detail the grill and the headlights and the turn signals and tail lights and all that. Um, as far as everything else looks on it, it looks pretty damn good. So I'm going to go with that and um, I'm going to stop for here just a second and I'll be right back. Okay, so we're going to move forward with getting these stripes off. And then I could uh, start doing some detailing. And I still got a little bit of a frog in my throat I'm dealing with. So if I call up every once in a while, I'm sorry. I just happen to like this car a lot. I think this is a very cool little car. Reminds me of when I was a kid. And you hear me mention this, uh, guy in his channel a lot um model cars with gwen you ever guys uh, want to check out somebody that does basically 124 scale model cars he does get into other things uh, he taught me a lot of the ways of model cars back in the 70s and 80s i was pretty young then um he had built him and his brother Donnie had built the car known as the Piranha. They had the split bumper Camaro front end like this. And uh, they had done a lot of custom work to it and everything. Uh, so if you guys want to check out uh, a custom builder, not only of models, and uh, but cars too, go check out his channel. And it's Model Cars with Glenn right here on YouTube. So I'm going to get the rest of the stripes off this thing and I'll come right back. Okay, so we're back and I have got all the striping off of here now, which makes this look a lot better than what it did. Um, do have some compound kind of stuck in the door jams and stuff, but um, I'll clean that all out with a brush. Um, but this, it looks a lot better than it did. Horrible red windshield. Going to have to do something about that. That's going to have to be taken care of. But as far as anything else goes, this is turning out to be a decent car. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to drill this out. I've got one rivet there. I'm going to start draw by drawing, uh, drilling the pilot hole. We'll get the bigger bit. That might just do it. Let me find what I'm looking for here. I don't want to ruin these FTEs the faster than ever wheels. Don't want to ruin the paint. There we go. 
and it slides out like this because the front is held by the grill. Yeah, it's not coming out like it should. What the heck? Let me move this. There we go. So those are that's out. I don't want to get the windshield and the interior out. Interior looks surprisingly. The interior looks pretty good for uh, Hot Wheels because it's detailed a lot like a Vega interior. Not not happy with that windshield at all. So what I'm going to do from here is I'm going to draw that and I get the um, I don't want that. Um, need my brush, and I need silver pen, brush, and what I'm going to do is get some of this paint out of here, and for these taillights and stuff, they have to be chromed out in order for the red and the amber and stuff to show up. No, I'm a little too far on that one. And the nice thing is you can always take and uh, I just had the thinner. I moved it. I hate when I do that. Um, there it is what happens when you get old you start losing your mind and everything around you but you can just take that right off there just that quick it doesn't hurt the paint underneath but uh, it's always a lot better sometimes to just use a brush get a little better control because a lot of times that pen will um, start drawing out too much paint. Let me get my magnifiers on. there and that's all you gotta do is take a toothpick pull it out of there and there we go now when I go to paint the red into the tail lights it'll stand out Now I'll go ahead and I'll finish uh, this and come back. Okay, so some of the chrome work is done. Not trying to touch it too much here. But the rest of the detailing will be done in a little bit here. So I'm going to pull the wheels off, the FTEs as they're called. So I'm going to pop these out of here real quick. I'm not sure think I'm almost positive which wheels I'm going to use, but I'm not 100% yet.
there we go so I've thought about these wheels or these I'm almost leaning more towards these due to the fact that they're more what I need oh damn they're actually going to slide right on there so we can kind of get a good a look at what we got here so let's see what we can do there's one as I'm pushing everything away from it push some tires off yeah boy those are sticky little boogers uh, I may still have to throw them out a little bit but that's okay no big deal I did paint the interior black it's over there drying for God's sakes what the heck This turn into a big old problem here. Now I just pulled the wheels out. these tabs back down put the tire back on I think those wheels are going to work. Okay, I'll be back. Okay, so there she is. Everything's done on it. I'm picking it up because some things are still wet, but all the turn signals, marker lights, tail lights, wheels are on, interior's painted. Still hate that red glass. But this is a good looking car. But she's done. Hope you guys liked it. Make sure you like, subscribe, and share if you think what you like. If you didn't like it, you know what to do. So, hope to catch you guys on the next video. Thanks.